I've always been an athlete and just stay physically fit as much as I could. I started having stomach problems three and a half years ago. I would wake up in the morning and I would start vomiting. I couldn't get out of bed. I would have these incidences. I become real lethargic, stumble, and my speech is slurred, and I'm extremely confused. Like, I was drunk, but hadn't been drinking. So I would start videotaping me because I didn't believe it. I feel like, uh, like I'm like on some hard drug or something. No, I... I would look at the tapes afterwards and my heart would just hit the floor. I couldn't believe that it was me. I was involved in an accident. A car full of college age students. When the police showed up, I blew through a breathalyzer test and it came back a .236. Even the police officer was stunned. He said, you shouldn't be functioning or moving with this much alcohol in your system. And I said, I haven't had anything to drink. I was referred to Dr. Kenodia through some friends of mine. He's like, Doc, I don't feel well. People don't believe I'm sick. He recommended one test for me. It was a DNA culture of a stool test. Based on the testing, it showed he had 400% higher than the normal amount of yeast in his body. Auto brewery syndrome is basically someone having so much yeast, it's fermenting and actually making alcohol in their body. It's very serious. It can even cause death. We had to put him on a plan to get him healthy. Anything that breaks down to sugar, we're gonna take out because sugar feeds yeast. So then we changed his nutrition to a high protein, high veggie nutrition plan, and that's what he did. The effects are phenomenal. Just a simple diet change has been remarkable in my process here. <laughs> And I'll confess, I, I had never heard of this auto brewery syndrome, mm -hmm. but it makes sense. If your gut is fermenting sugars into alcohol, it oh, makes complete sure. sense if you have that mm -hmm. yeast growing in, yeah, you know, right. in your crazy. gut. Yeah, you know, I actually had a patient, a, a child with not auto brewery, but they had yeast overgrowth in their gut and it was causing autistic type of problems. It was a real mystery. What I love about this mm. story, while it's very rare and unusual, it really shows the brilliant diagnostic work yes. of, mm -hmm. you know, yes. of one doctor who can think a little bit unconventionally and piece together this medical mystery. And it's interesting because I, I think for years, measuring yeast in the blood was considered kind of a, the side thing. Right. So now yeah. it's kind of just, just part of life. If you have yeast overgrowth in your body, bacterial vaginosis mm -hmm. tends to be mm -hmm. An issue, yeah. these types of issues. Incidentally, one of the potential causes is excessive use of antibiotics, and we're very lucky. Nick Hess actually joins us on the phone. And Nick, you know, I'm so glad that you figured this out. I'm just trying to imagine those conversations when, you know, you're getting pulled over for DUIs, you're trying to convince people in your life you're not a closet alcoholic. Um, even you, I must assume, were shocked by this diagnosis. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, we had tried and um, jumped through all of the um, hoops that we should medically, and um, we just didn't have any answers at all. Um, Dr. Kenodia was pretty much our last resort. It was going to be like the last try. I was kind of dealing with the fact that I was going to have to live like this for the rest of my life. And now, Nick, wow. that you've cut out the sugars for the most part and focusing on proteins and fats, which of course can't be fermented into alcohol, are your symptoms gone, and, and have you been able to treat with the yeast with, with antifungals? Um, I, I, I have just done a, str a strict diet change, and uh, like Dr. Kenodia said, um, it contains a lot of just grass-fed, healthy proteins, uh, beef, um, um, fresh-caught uh, fish and seafood, nothing um, farm-raised, um, and then just a lot of leafy green vegetables, you know, asparagus, broccoli, um, uh, Brussels sprouts, things like that, and I really enjoy it. Well, so, Nick, we are just so you. happy that you figured this out. Thank you so much for telling your story. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.